Hey there, Julian from Emberstack here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a responsive semantic HTML table using Bricks Builder. So first things first, what is responsive and semantic? Responsive just means it's going to look good on all devices. You probably knew that one. Semantic means that it is actually made with proper HTML tags, and it's not just a bunch of div blocks thrown together to look like a table. It is actually a proper HTML table. Now, Bricks Builder does not have a table element. That being said, one of my favorite things about it is that they know their limitations and they allow you with custom HTML tags to build whatever you want, even if they originally don't have that. So anyways, the first thing that I'm gonna mention is that go to the link in this description and you can copy the table that we're working with in this video on bricksboard.com with just one click. So this is what that looks like when you go to the link in the description you are simply going to be able to copy the component, head on over to Bricks Builder, and paste it in. If you have any sort of conflicts or anything like that, let's go ahead and click Override Local Classes, and there we go. So there we go. Now we have our section in, and let's go ahead and just preview this quickly. And let me go ahead and shrink down the screen. There we go. And as we can see, this is what it would look like on a phone with a nice little scroll. And then on other devices, it looks perfectly fine. So now let's get back into Bricks Builder and I'm going to show you how to actually build this, how it works. Even if you are using this component, it is good to know what you can, can't, should, and shouldn't change. So here we are and we have our table section. And what we start out with in here is a container. As you can see, we have the table container class applied to it. And all this has is overflow auto, which means that once it gets too small, there's gonna be that scroll bar that you just saw. And it has a border on everything but the bottom. So this is what gives it that nice clean look with no double borders. Um, there is actually a border collapse CSS property. I used it without much success while building this table. So next we have our actual table, and this is when we start to use these custom HTML tags. So first things first, you actually have table. So your base element is going to just be table. Then in table, we have two more elements. We have head, which has the custom HTML tag T head. And we have body, which has the custom HTML tag T body. So these all have custom classes applied to it. And if we take a look at table body right over here, uh, is it on table body? I believe it is. Yes. Okay. So on we created a new pseudo selector called nth child bracket even. And that's what makes it so that every second, so I could even go right now and let's say duplicate duplicate these rows and as you can see only every second one I don't need to add combo classes or anything like that and that is how we make it alternating white and gray now let's go back over into our head what we have inside of our head is tr which just means table row within table row we have columns and each one of these has the custom tag th and that means table head I believe, correct me if I'm wrong. And all of these have custom CSS applied to them. So we have table data right over here. And this is what's used not only in the header, but it's used all throughout the table. All of these, as you can see, if I select something in one of these rows, this is also using table data. And what we've done is we've applied some padding and we've set it to 25% width. That way they all stay the same size. And Let's see, we also have flex grow set to one on them. And on the row itself, we have it set to flex. And so what this is gonna do is make it so they all try to grow and they all try to become 25% of the width. Then in each of these columns, we just have some text because this element right here, Bricks does not actually allow you anywhere as far as I'm aware to add text. So you do have to get a basic text element and place that right in there. So we pretty much follow the exact same structure for the body. So let me go ahead and close off the head. In the body here, what you can see is that we have a bunch of rows and each row has the TR 
um, HTML tag applied to it. And within there, we just have divs that have TD, which means table data applied to them. And as we can see here, these are all of the elements that make up a proper HTML table. Nothing more, nothing less. So that is how it works. You can now build anything you want. You could style it within bricks. And again, you can get the actual component right here so that you don't need to waste your time with this from the link in the description. So I'll talk to you soon and have a great day.